What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky B here, back with all the news after week 12 of our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise, where the Crusaders added another win to the column, improving to eight straight now after starting off one and two. Honestly, though, it was not a good game for the Crusaders. In fact, had it not been for two huge plays, one by Shakir Gayton and then a 91-yard bomb to Chase Cross, the Crusaders very likely would have picked up a loss in that last game. They started off really slow, and the defense really could not contain the Jets in the first half. Now, the second half was a different story. The defense did step up a little bit more, but it also shows that this team is still very vulnerable. You know, we have a pretty good record right now. But, you know, showing that we are vulnerable against a team like the Jets definitely has me concerned as we move on towards the postseason, getting closer to it anyway. We are still 9-2 on the season, though, and the Buccaneers are probably the best team left on our schedule. They sit at 8-3 right now. They have Trey Han, a quarterback, a very good young player, and somebody to kind of keep an eye on. Let's go ahead and get going with our game prep here. Again, well, the big issue against the Jets was our run defense, weird enough. Usually, they are somewhat reliable. We're going to go ahead and continue to work on our corners, though. That's definitely what scares me the most as we get closer to the postseason here. Um, here we go. Where you at? Cornerbacks. All right. And we're just still working with Azul, uh, Azur and Sherman. Both of them have a five development trait. Both are very young. And uh, I definitely think the future is very, very bright with them having a big role on our defense. Moving forward, let's check out to see if we have any draft stories. The 49ers and the Seahawks getting ready to square off. Tremonde Mathis. All right, so we've already read that one. We already know what to expect there. Uh, as you can see, the Buccaneers, despite a great record, really don't stand out too much, whether it be offensively or defensively. Not top 10 in either category. Now, our defense has been struggling a lot. Again, any offense can tend to put up a lot of yards on us. Uh, so that's something to still keep an eye on, especially when they have a great, great young quarterback. Uh, but it's still a little bit worrying, you know, something to keep an eye on. The Broncos won their matchup, too. They are also sitting at 9-2. Now, if we look at the NFC over here, the Seahawks and the 49ers are both at 7-4. and four. They're facing off this week. This is a huge game for us right now. The 49ers are the defending national champions. Um, and last season, they're, they were absolutely stacked. I don't know how their roster is uh, shaped up since then, but they're definitely a team that worries me. Uh, as are the Seahawks, you know, they're another team that have beat us So it's gonna be interesting to kind of see who takes control of the division as we enter the final few weeks of the season here uh, Granted, we do still have five games left. I believe but you guys know what I'm talking about uh, Moving forward weekly awards. Let's see what we got going on here, and then we'll briefly check out the MVP awards after that uh, Aaron Rodgers, 26-33, 322 yards, 3 touchdowns, 0 interceptions. Geno Atkins, 9 tackles, 3 sacks for him. Barone, 6 tackles to go with 3 interceptions and 2 touchdowns for the Ravens. A monster game from him. And then Mitch Farrell, 40-51, 389 yards, 3 touchdowns for him. Again, right now, we're pretty much just going to check out the MVP race, kind of see how that's doing. And Stuart Denny has overtaken Derek Carr, number one on the MVP watch right now. There's a lot of time left and anything can change, but it's very cool to see that. Uh, hit Derek Carr's successor kind of taking over for him right now. AJ McCarron at three, Bortles four, TR Foreman five, Rogers six, Devin Golden moves his way up to number seven, Tremaine Small eight, Chaz Jenkins nine, and Jared Trahan, the guy we are about to see, is sitting there at number 10, a great player, somebody to keep an eye on as well. Um, we'll go ahead and check out, I guess, maybe the division stats. We haven't done just the division stats in a while. We can go ahead and do that now, kind of see how everything is playing up here for us. AFC West, Stuart Denny obviously leading the way in quarterback rating. Mitch Farrell going to be a number two. Chaz Jenkins sitting down here 96.8. Now, he's putting up quite a lot of yards. I think he must have been injured at some point. Um, but 17 touchdowns, only 10, inter or 10 interceptions. Definitely not having a Chaz Jenkins-like season right now. I don't know what the cause of that is. Um, it doesn't look like he's been injured, actually, as we look down the list. I don't know. Um, you know, Chaz Jenkins has actually lost quite a lot of his wide receivers from previous years. We actually just saw Matt Ward over there with the Jets. We know he's lost a few others as well. And it looks like that actually might be taking a toll on him. You know, he doesn't have Julius Thomas anymore. Now, his new tight end, the rookie, is actually doing pretty great for him. But still, when you lose those kind of weapons, kind of makes it more difficult to find the open guy. Devin Golden still leading the way. In terms of yards, now touchdowns, that's going to be 12 to Monte Ball, Le'Veon Bell with 9, Devin Golden with 9, and Junior Mitchell 
the rookie, also with nine there. Receiving Jawan Sellers, 90 catches for him. Brandon Marshall with 77. The uh, Chiefs offense just passing the ball all over everybody, and that is Tremaine Small making it happen. Yeah, Cobb Moody, 1,100 yards on the season right now, 71 catches for him. Uh, in terms of touchdowns, nine for Sellers, eight for Shakir Gaten, six for Yakab Moody, six for Chase Cross. We don't have um, Keiston Mack. Only one touchdown on the season so far. Now, he has been injured quite a bit, but we still need to see a little bit more from him. Obviously, Shakir Gaten's always stepping up, finding his way into the end zone. And Chase Cross, that 91-yard bomb. I mean, we lose that last game without that play. That was unbelievable. Yakab Moody, 79. Uh, Juwan Sellers had a 77. Shakir Gate with that 65 also last game as we go down the list there. Blocking. He's been doing He's been killing it. I mean, look at this. Nobody's even close to that. What in the world? Monster season from him. Defense, Donald Butler leading the way. Terry Fuller, number two. Cofield, three. Barry Church, four. TJ Ward, five. Hunter Hurst down here at six. Now, oh, yeah, that's right. Ray was out for a while. I was wondering why Ray was not higher. In terms of sacks, nine for Khalil Mack and nine for Matthew McCown, six for Von Miller, six for Keegan Gibson. Our sacks have definitely kind of evened out from uh, where they have been the last few seasons. I definitely feel like it is getting a little bit more realistic. Four interceptions for Sean Lee, four for Eric Berry, three for Raheem Moore, three for TJ Ward, and three for Hudson here. Uh, a few players with two. Boy, I'm really struggling getting interceptions, man. The struggle is real. Uh, Fumbles Force, we'll check that out. Got two for TJ Ward, two for Deshaun Beckwith, who is playing very limited time, mind you. You know, he is behind Reynard Reyes, also behind Hunter Hurst. So to see him get two in limited actions, very, very impressive. And Donald Butler with two. Fumbles recovered. A plethora of people with one there. Blocks. Turner is going to have a block. Safeties. We know Khalil Mack has one. Touchdowns. Khalil Mack, the only defensive touchdown in the division right now. Guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. Another thing I'm going to throw out there really quick. How would you like to see the news videos go in Madden 16? Is there anything different you want to see from them? I'm definitely open for uh, any kind of improvements you guys would be looking for. So let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Later.